Tim, how much is Tim Tebow's life as a minor leaguer different than, say, your average run-of-the-mill baseball prospect? Yeah, I mean, he's not he's not your normal minor league baseball player playing in Class A. He's He's got a personal assistant. He flies on private planes. He, he travels the country doing these public speeches that he gets paid for. He works for ESPN. He's a, a college football analyst. He's famous. He's Tim Tebow. And, uh, and so it's kind of funny, this juxtaposition between him being this extremely famous person and doing all those different activities and then also going and playing baseball. You mentioned some of it. I mean, the, the guy's dream was to be a football player, right? And then he became a football analyst, and now his dream is to be a baseball player. So <laughs> the cynical out there would say, hey, this guy's just doing this to keep the attention. How genuine do you think his drive is to be an MLB player? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, that's a fair question, right? I mean, on, on the surface, it's, you know, why, why would he even attempt to do this? You know, there's no possible way this is going to work out. And I, when you ask how genuine he is, I think you just have to look at how hard he's working. This guy is... He's taken batting practice two, three, four times a day. He's swinging so much that his hands are literally bleeding. Like, I looked at his hands. Right in the palm of his hand, he's, he has a, this quarter-sized knot of just blood and skin that's just, you know, he's working hard. And, and that comes from swinging so much. And so, you know, you ask if he's genuine. I can't answer that question. You just kind of look at kind of what his actions are saying. And he's trying so hard. At, you know, if, how, if it's just a show, then, you know, that's, that's insane. Some of the reporting that you do in this story unearths a few things that I don't believe we knew about Tebow. And one thing is about his workout that he had with major league teams. Chad Smith, one of the pitchers who was throwing to him, basically it almost seems like he was feeling for him a little bit. He's a fan of Tebow's, and he said, listen, look for some fastballs. He grooved a couple in for him, and Tebow was able to look better in front of scouts. How much did that actually do? help in Tebow getting signed to the Mets? You know, I, well, I talked to the Mets about it. I talked to Sandy Alderson about that, and he said the showcase didn't really sway him. He was kind of looking at Tebow as, you know, we'll see how he pans as a prospect. But he, you know, was very candid in the story about Tebow being, you know, this draw, this having, giving the Mets exposure. You know, whenever Tebow does something, you know, people would mention the Mets' name. Um, but going back to Chad Smith, and like you're saying, uh, in the story, you know, we talk about how, Chad uh, is a guy of faith. You know, he, when he was a baseball player, he would attend chapel, and he was a big Tim Tebow fan. So when he was pitching to him in the showcase, um, he, he was open with me saying that, you know, Tebow was struggling a little bit, and he tried to give him a little pick, pick up, grooving him some fastballs. And, you know, I don't know how much it, it really affected it uh, because the Mets, you know, weren't really swayed by the showcase. But I thought that was fascinating that, you know, Tim's celebrity played a little factor into, you know, maybe getting him signed.